So in this lesson, we're going to review the structure of a course in Thinkific, as well as the different lesson types that you can put into your course. So if you're still planning out your course or you really want to see what it's sort of going to look like from a student perspective, then this lesson is a necessity. So let's dive in. Okay, so the structure of a course in Thinkific is by default uh, sort of lessons and chapters. So you have these chapters, which are what some people would refer to as modules. And so within the module are the actual lessons. The module itself doesn't contain anything. It's just a name of that section of the course. That's called a chapter in Thinkific. Now you can refer to it as whatever you want to in your course, but uh, according to Thinkific, when we're building this out, we're building this in chapters and lessons within the chapters. Okay, so I've got two chapters in this test course, and I've got one lesson within this second module or chapter, and I've got a number of them within this first chapter. So let's have a look through the different kinds of course content that you can have within a course in Thinkific. So the first lesson type that we're going to look at is called the downloads lesson type. And you do have to choose the lesson type when you're uploading your course content. So it does matter what lesson type you're using based on what your assets are for that particular lesson. So in this downloads type lesson, you can add downloads, files, links, and embedded video. The, the, um, very specific thing about this downloads lesson type is the downloads actually appear as download buttons down at the bottom of whatever you have in that lesson. So if you like that style and that look for downloads, this is a lesson type that you might incorporate into your course. So once a student clicks on one of these download buttons here, that will open up uh, and then allow them to download that to their own device. So this is a download lesson. You can have other things within the lesson, but you have to have at least one download here. So if you want them to download things like an Excel spreadsheet um, or a video or anything like that, that's specifically for them to download, this is the download lesson type. And you can also put things in here like, here's a link to view this video. And this would take them over to YouTube, for instance, and allow them to watch a video on another platform. Um, you can also add downloads as basically files here. Um, and you can add embedded videos as well. So you can add those all into a download lesson, but you have to have at least one download on the bottom. So that's a download lesson type. PDF lesson type is completely different. If you have one PDF that you want them to be able to view in your course or to download in your course, and it's only one PDF in this lesson, you would use the PDF lesson type probably. So that just gives them a preview of the whole um, PDF. And if you have download enabled, then they can download from this screen as well. But again, not required that they download this PDF. You can't add multiple PDFs. There's nothing else you can add to this lesson. It's purely for one PDF. So that's a PDF lesson type. Text lesson type is probably the most flexible. Um, you can add links, as in hyperlinks. You can upload files that they could download from here. Um, you can upload um, and embed videos in here. So it's pretty flexible. Um, and it's one that uh, a lot of people tend to use when you might have multimedia within one lesson, like multiple media or multiple assets within a lesson, the text lesson might work for you. Video lesson type. If you choose the video lesson type, it is literally just a video. So there's nothing else that I'm adding to this here. Now you do with video lessons have the option to add additional text, which will show up under the lesson. You can't change where it shows up and to have a download as well in a video lesson. But keep in mind, those both show up down here. So if you wanted text above the video and then the video and then text below the video, let's say it would probably be a downloads lesson type or a text lesson type that you were looking to use. Okay, multimedia. Multimedia is pretty cool because it allows for all different kinds of software to be integrated with Thinkific. So this is one called Typeform is the name of this 
um, software that I use often in my courses and it allows me to create um, interactive experiences for my students. So if we click here, as you can see, it kind of starts to personalize it right from the get go if you'd like to. And then it's scenario based. So you can say if they answer A to this question, take them to a specific part of this type form and ask them a different question. Um, you can, it's got calculators, it's got logic jumps, lots you can do with type form. Um, but it, it does integrate with Thinkific through this multimedia lesson type. Uh, here's another example of what you could do in a multimedia lesson type. So here's an interactive video we created for a client. I'm just going to press play for a minute here. Hi, I'm Julie and I've been a professional. So this is a uh, interactive video built on another software and we've just been able to integrate it with Thinkific using this multimedia lesson type. In this one, um, they can actually click on a button right within the course. No worries, I have lots of resources to help. And it will take them to a different part of this video. So there's lots of ways using this multimedia lesson type and different softwares that you can incorporate those into your course to make it a far more interactive experience for your students. All right, there's a few more lesson types that we're going to review here. One is the audio lesson type. So in the audio lesson type, you can upload one audio file. It's held within your Thinkific platform, so it doesn't need to be hosted elsewhere. Um, you can make it downloadable if you want to. So as you can see here, I've made this audio downloadable. However, you don't have to make it um, downloadable. You can just make it so that they have to listen while they're in this particular lesson. You can also add text, embed videos, links, things like that. But the, the thing that distinguishes this lesson type is the fact that you have to have an audio in it. And it can only be one audio per audio lesson. So next we're going on to the presentation lesson type. And this seems to be a common one for course creators that they want to create sort of this PowerPoint to put in their course. So it would be the presentation lesson type um, that would allow you to do that. So I'm going to click on it and it's going to start playing. So this is the presentation lesson type. So this is very sort of traditional PowerPoint looking document. Now in order to get it into Thinkific for this presentation lesson type, it actually has to be downloaded as a PDF first and then uploaded as a presentation lesson. Once it's uploaded, you can then record voice on each slide within Thinkific. So I'll just flip through these now so you can have a quick look. Okay, the next lesson type is a quiz lesson type. So I'm I'm going to talk now about this quiz lesson type and the survey lesson type, and it's a little bit of a cautionary tale. If you use um, Thinkific's built-in quiz feature or their built-in survey feature, which you can in your courses, in order to export the results of those, you have to go in the back end of Thinkific and pull a report which gives you a spreadsheet of all the answers. There's no way for students to get um, the results of their results, the results of their quiz or survey email to them. They can't review them and change the answers. Um, and if you want to pull the, the results, you have to go in and pull this report that's basically a spreadsheet with all the answers. So I don't find it particularly helpful. And that's why I don't use built in quiz and survey lessons. Now, you might think that that's okay. It might be totally fine for you. You might not want to go in and look at those necessarily, and you might not need students to get their results of their quiz or their survey. Um, so that's just a bit of a cautionary tale. What could you use instead? You could use something like Google Forms. You could use Typeform um, and actually have the results sent to the student automatically through Typeform once they submit that, that quiz or that survey that you've built with Typeform. So there's a number of options. Now, of course, again, you can use this and you could always change that down the road. So don't get overwhelmed by the options here. So with quizzes, you can have them so they're, they have to have a passing grade in order to move on um, or not. You might just do it because you just want to allow them to sort of check their knowledge level. So what happens is I've got this one set that must have a passing grade of 100%. Um, and so I'm going to answer the wrong answer here. 
I'm going to click on confirm answer and it tells me the answer is incorrect. Now it tells me I, I failed this quiz basically how much I needed to pass and allows them to retake it so that they can pass this quiz. And then it allows me to continue on to the next lesson. Okay, survey lesson. So again, this falls into the same category of quizzes, meaning you have to go in and pull the report manually every time you want to see the answers to all of your surveys. So with surveys, there's no right or wrong answers. They just answer. And it really is a survey, not a quiz. Okay, next lesson type is the assignment lesson type. As it says here, to complete this lesson, the students must submit a file which requires a review by the instructor. So if you have a course that they need to submit an assignment and get feedback on it or um, a grade on it, for instance, this is a great option. Now you have to make sure you're on the right Thinkific plan in order to use the assignments uh, lesson type. So basically you can provide them with a template or instructions here. And then when they're ready, they come over here and they select what they want to upload. They put it in here. So let's just upload one here. Great. And then I can submit the assignment here and I can customize this basically says that this lesson is under review. And that's it for the lesson types. Those are the primary lesson types that you are going to find within a Thinkific course. So I'm going to drop the link to Thinkific's help article on Thinkific lesson types under this video. So just scroll down if you want to head over here and read a little bit more about the different kinds of lesson types that are available within the Thinkific platform and therefore within your course. Hi, I'm Kim, better known as Brainy Girl. And if you need help with your Thinkific site, with your email marketing, with your marketing in general, or with getting your online courses online into the hands of your buyers, just click the link below, visit us at our website and see how we can help.